My name is Mariah. If you are new here, welcome. Otherwise, welcome back. Great to see you all. Today's video, we are gonna be covering why it is so important to have a properly inflated balloon. Now, if you are not sure what the difference is between a properly or improperly inflated balloon is, definitely go check out our other video where we kind of go over what the difference is um, as far as a properly inflated balloon. Um, again, there is a few reasons why this is important, but the number one reason is if you have a improperly inflated balloon, it is going to pop a lot easier, especially if it is overinflated. Um, obviously, if it's overinflated, the latex is stretching more, so if, if it um, kind of rubs up against something, it's gonna pop a lot easier. Things like that, if it's out in the heat, it's gonna pop a lot easier. So make sure your balloon is properly inflated. Also, if it is underinflated, it's going to look all sad and saggy and get a little wrinkly. Definitely don't want that. Um, again, another reason you want to make sure that your um, balloons are properly inflated is that if you are using the technique that I prefer, which is tying the next of your balloons together, you are going to want to make sure that your balloon is properly inflated so that you have the longest neck possible and when it comes to tying those necks together it is super easy for you and not a struggle so those are some of the reasons why you want to make sure that you have a properly inflated balloon this is a key element in any balloon making art so make sure you have this down again check out our other video if you're not sure Hopefully this helped you guys out and if you have any questions, let us know. See you guys next time.